Hey guys, it's Helia, and today on my messy desktop, I'm going to show you how to run multiple, multiple versions of Minecraft. So look, here I've got Minecraft 1.8 and Minecraft 1.7. I'll just prove that. Right, just click here. Log in. And as you can see, this is Minecraft 1.8. It's the pre-release that I've been playing on. I'll just close out with that and we'll go back. Then we'll click on Minecraft 1.7. Click this. The login. And look, Minecraft 1.73. I'm playing my worlds, and well, that's the world from 1.8. I've got the same save files, but just look, guys. I'm playing my worlds and do whatever. Just running two versions of Minecraft. You can use this to run multiple mods and stop them clashing. So you could have, say, this is your Minecraft vanilla, this is your Minecraft with water shader, and then say this is, say, this is the one with Yogbox, and then this is one with, I don't know, the Aether mod. So you can do this to run multiple versions of Minecraft, say 1.7 and 1.8, like I'm doing. Or you can use this to um, stop mods clashing and things like that. I can use this to use the older version of Minecraft and use mods that are outdated now, but to go back and use them mods. So it's completely up to you guys how you want to use, how you want to do this. Um, but I'll show you how to do it. It's all thanks to this website. I'll leave the link in the description. It explains how to do it there. But I'll just quickly explain how you do it. All right. So you create a new folder. As we do, create a new folder. We'll just name this folder say Minecraft 1.8. So this new folder, we'll drop the application, the shortcut in here, the Minecraft shortcut. Then we'll drop our Minecraft, well our dot Minecraft in here as well. And then obviously you install your mods to the dot jar and everything like that. You set all this up just as as if you're installing mods um, and just have it how you want it. Then you go create a new, create a new um, notepad. Then you go to this website, links in the description. Scroll down, copy this code here. Just copy that code. So you paste that in there. Click file, save as. Then we type start Minecraft dot bat. That's important guys, dot bat. And then we'll click this and we'll go to all files. And then we'll just simply save it. I'm not going to do that because as you see, I've already got it. We save it as a dot bat file, so it's a batch file. And start Minecraft dot bat. Obviously save it in your 1.8 folder. Close this now. So you, oh no. Not me recorder. So you save that in your Minecraft 1.8 and then it'll save to a file like that. And then to open it, just click click and it opens, log in. And we'll play Minecraft 1.8. Or we can click out and play Minecraft 1.7. Or we can go and play Minecraft for a certain mod. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's all thanks to this guy on his blog. I've seen this on Reddit. The ramblings of a madman. So this link's in the description. Full credit goes to him, but I haven't seen any videos of this, so I thought you guys might want to see it. It's been Helia. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, if you put all them files on an external hard drive or a flash drive or something like that, it'll still work fine. I just understand um, them folders can be quite big i think mine are about 160 plus each so if you put them on a flash drive or something like that it'll still work fine just thought you should know rear come subscribe it's been hell yeah